collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Z. Today I'm reading for the beautiful, handsome collective. Hey collective, what up collective? Flaps, flaps, flaps. Flaps, flaps, flaps. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. To book a proper reading with me or to shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. Okay, a lot of you guys have been asking how can you book with me? It's in the description box below, okay? So when you open up uh, either this video or any other videos on my channel, open up the, the details of the description part and you'll see it all there, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Town. all the letters always start this way and then it's like a surprise like an element of surprise okay element of surprise okay so k okay is the 11th number in the alphabet that may be symbolic i'm hearing carotene which is found in your nails and hair. And I'm also hearing potassium. So, Somebody may have kidney disease. Yep. Someone has kidney disease. A mature man. I looked up potassium. I looked up, um, I just looked up potassium with K and what popped up was potassium kidney disease. And it says your kidneys remove the extra potassium from your blood. When you have kidney disease, your kidneys cannot remove extra potassium in the right way. So signs of kidney disease, weight loss and poor appetite, swollen ankles, feet or hands, um, as, of, as a result of water retention, shortness of breath, tiredness, blood in your urine, an increased need to pee, particularly at night, difficulty sleeping, insomnia, uh, itchy skin, mm. muscle cramps, headaches. Yeah, great fortune is in reverse. This person can't afford their hospital bills. Expectation is in reverse. It's it 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 it, it has exceeded their expectation. This this health um decline that they're in, it has exceeded it has exceeded their expectation. This person is really sick. Yep. Wow, they can't work anymore. So this is for somebody. 
this is damn man they don't have much longer what the f <laughs> i keep telling y'all <laughs> message of concern we have poverty and we have the gift like the gift is poverty this is someone's karma even k k is for karma <laughs> That should be, that could be the name of this 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 reading here. <laughs> K is for karma. Somebody's going through karma, immense karma, and like I kept saying, it's through their body, it's through their health. It's an older man. Yes, yeah, sleepless. They can't sleep. They can't sleep at all. They're not sleeping. I don't even think this person knows they have this. But they're seeing many different, yeah, in their shoes. And then we also have divine timing. Divine timing is in reverse. They're not aware of this. And with the in their shoes here, it's like spirit wants me to kind of like take a look from their perspective. This is going to devastate them because it's like the end end stages of renal. They may it's it's look here it's too late. I'm hearing the damage is done. It's too late. Create is in reverse. They can't create. They can't work. They can't move. They may become immobile. We have followed the spark. So one is like praying to get out of this rut, this sick rut. Like they're they're really sick. And um they're just summing it up to just life, like oh okay, or old age, or you know, getting up there in age. This is a karmic that I'm speaking about here that is suffering through kidney failure or renal failure. Hmm. They don't know. They have anger issues. So this older person, this masculine here, has a lot of anger issues, which can cause stress on your organs if you're not mindful or careful. They don't know that they have this. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh, me, oh, fucking my. How the motherfucking tables turn. I said it. I said it's going to be an influx of people getting very sick and just passing away quickly. I said that. I said it's going to be a domino effect. Hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, bruh. Financial failure and depression. They depressed. They don't even know why they depressed. This person don't go to the doctors. They don't go to the doctors at all. They're financial ruins. They don't know how to how to maintain themselves. They don't know how to maintain a home, maintain their financial status. Eight of Pentacles is even at the top here. Eight of Pentacles. They're overworked. The job or jobs that they're working for or working through or with, whatever the case may be, they're being overworked and underpaid. That's directly from the universe. That's in tandem with the universe. For them to be worked harder or overworked to a point of exhaustion, they're exhausted. Their body's exhausted. And you can literally see, you can actually see it on their body. You don't know what or, or, or you don't know what or how, but you can see the significant changes within this person's or on this person's body here. We also have nine of swords. We have the moon as well in reverse. 
their extreme regret. Hmm. It's so funny how the collective is always some way, somehow, they always try to include the collective in their fucking bullshit. Because this person's looking at you to come to you for help. Help them with bills. Help them to nurse them back to health. Ain't that something? Huh. Ain't that something? Hmm. You know what? I maybe just need to let the cars just talk for me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Somebody's watching Power Rangers. They're confused. And the reason why they're confused is because they see their body changing before them. And they don't know what. They don't know what. They don't know how. They don't, don't, they don't know why. This person has kidney failure. Both kidneys. You need at least one to, you know, to do what you need to do daily. Both kidneys are failing. And I'm hearing end stage renal cancer. Lord, child. Well, we have on the download and secrets. So on the download can mean many different ways. Um, they can be... Like, people are noticing their appearance, but they keep that a secret. Like, hey, you, you know, you okay? You, you know, you, you're changing here. You know, you're all right. You need it. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. You know, I'm just working. And I'm just, I haven't had time to rest in that kind of way. So they're trying to keep it on the down low. Like, their health is really showing up on them and other people can see. And then also on the down low community, they could just be into the same sex and they don't want nobody to know. So that could be that too. But we have candle magic. They were, so this candle magic was in reverse. So, and it's stuck energy. So that tells me that whatever candle bullshit that they did there, they end up getting stuck with that energy here. And now they're trying to pray. They're trying to pray this away. They're trying to... See if they can get some kind of assistance from a higher source. Because I just hear, Lord, hear my prayers. Your prayers are being heard. They're just not being answered. They're being heard. They're just not being answered. And that's a big difference. <laughs> you can talk all day all you want, Carmen. But your answers will not be, or your prayers will not be uh, answered. No. <laughs> no. No. Not at all. Inga. This person is pretending that everything is a okay. They have this struggling. They are struggling with manifesting. They have a lot of self-doubt here. <laughs> and psychic. So they could be getting readings in regards to them. Trying to figure out what's going on with them. And whoever this psychic person is, they're not able to tap in. They're telling them that everything is okay with their health, but clearly nothing is not okay. You can, like I said, you can visibly see the sickness. Like they're like a walking sickness. You can see them. They look like a walking stick. You ever saw the insect called a walking stick? That's how they look. Very emaciated, very skinny. No nutrients, no nothing, no substance, no fat, no nothing to them. Just skin and bones. And they went to a psychic here, but this psychic, this particular psychic that they went to is just all about the money. <laughs> they will tell you what you need to hear. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to just say that and boom. This psychic, not who they say they are, but okay. I'm not here to bash nobody, but anywho, 
we do have self-doubt here. So this is a reason why they went to a psychic to kind of see what was going on with their health. And the psychic lied to them, boldly straight to their face. They said, oh, your health is fine. You're just overworked. You just, um, yeah, you're overworked, but there's more to it. And this person has been going to this psychic for a while. And this psychic, every time they go to them, they lie. They only lie so they can keep them to keep coming back to them. <laughs> Don't make no sense, but whatever. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I don't see how you could be in this arena, in this spiritual aspect of the arena here or niche, and you sit here and you lying to others. You don't think you're going to get harsh backlash for that shit? Y'all real fucking brave. I ain't, I ain't got it in me. <laughs> Let me going up against the universe. What you say? Oh, okay. I heard you, boo. <laughs> I don't want no smoke with you. We have codependency triggered. Yeah. This person is going to be so fucking triggered that you know that they're sick. They don't even want you to know that they're sick. Connection is in reverse. So this could have been a love connection at one time. Could have been because, you know, a heart is there. Just want to put it upright so you can see. So there could have been a, a, a love connection at some point in time. This person could have been very codependent on you. And they're very triggered that you're no longer there. You're not there to pick up the pieces. You're not there to fix the bullshit situation that they always get themselves into, you know? Mm. I, I just see this person in tears, crying, kneeling over a bed, and literally profusely crying, begging for the universe to grant them another chance or um, allow them to repent this off. And I just keep hearing, no, access denied. They did too much. They did way too much. Yeah, deja vu. <laughs> it's like spirits, like we've been here before. The universe is like, we've been here before. We gave you so much opportunities to fix it. And every chance that we gave to you, you fucked it up. You laughed at us. You spit, it's like you spit in our face. So we had to shatter. We had to let you know that, um, we not for play, play. In that kind of way, dreams come true is in reverse. Yeah, they not, man. Growth is in reverse. Listen to me. Dead end. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> mm. It's, they're, they're, at their, they're at the end of their rope. They begging the universe. Damn, man, healing is in reverse. They, they're not getting that. They're not getting that request. They're not getting that request. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, I'm sorry for how I treated you. I'm so sorry for how I treated you. That's what I'm hearing. It's so like this person's like crying out for help. Yeah, this person's going to be in a really bad state. They can't, they're going to come to a point where they can't drive anymore. They're going to, they're really going to need round the clock care. They're going to need somebody to take care of them around the clock. They can't. I mean, I can't do this on my own. Yes, you can. You can and you will, Carmi. <laughs> We ain't trying to hear that shit now. Keep that same fucking energy, boo. <laughs> resilience. Create heart, brain coherence for super resilience. So a part of them or most of them feel like they can ride this out. They feel like they're going to get through this. They feel like they're going to beat this and they're not. I see them going on the list for like a kidney 
or kidneys, kidney transplant, they'll get on the list, but they won't get the kidney or kidneys that they need. It's, going to, it's always going to be some kind of a bombard uh, towards their health. Like every time they try to fix something about their health to regain that good health or great health that they were in before, they get knocked back. They It's just every time they try to heal themselves, they can't do it. Hmm. Dodgy neighbors know when to walk away and know when to run. They could be reaching out to neighbors or neighbors could see what's going on or they could be dodging neighbors so that neighbors can't see fully as to what they're experiencing here. But people are seeing and they're talking like, yo, did you see such and such? Like, they don't look good in that kind of way. It gonna be the topic of Thanksgiving dinner. Huh. This was in reverse, but look at the card, superfoods. Look how, man. <sighs> Naturally fight disease by eating superfoods. I only put it upright so you can see, you know, the beautifulness of this card, but it came out in reverse. It's like so much damage has been done that they can't get out of this. They can't escape it. And they're, oh Lord, they're in a lot of pain. Mm. This is their karma. This is their karma. Letting go of sadness. Hmm. To me, this don't even look like sadness. To me, this look like anger. Look at all that red and orange in the bag. That don't look like no sadness. That look like anger to me. Like this person is angry that they got sick. This person is angry that they can't heal themselves. This person's pride is in the way, but they're looking towards you to help them get out of this. They're looking towards you or soon to be looking towards you to have a heart and to help to heal them back to health and nurture them back to health. Again, like I said, this may sound brash and fucking crass and I don't give a fuck. You better not help this Dusty. Dang, you cold. Yeah, like a motherfucker. Because this person knew what they did. Oh, they knew what they were doing towards you behind your back. They knew exactly what they were doing to you behind your back. Again, they never thought that they would have got caught. But as I've mentioned before, I said everyone is going to see the culprit. Anyone that was involved in attempting to hurt you in any way, shape, or form, whether it's mentally, psychologically, physical, financial, spiritually, 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 any type of way, method, aspect here, everyone is going to see it in their body, in their health. Everyone is going to see. They won't be able to hide it or, or they won't be able to. There's only so much you can do to cover yourself up. I mean, <laughs> unless who going outside every day with a damn ski mask on or in glasses. In the summertime, too? Well, they ain't going to be here by the summertime, but because this is a... 
a very fast moving like destructive ailments. It's 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 very quick, very, very, very quick, very quick. Yeah, we got passion. This person don't even know that they're sick. That's the thing. They don't know, but they feel they the signs are there, but they don't know, they can't pinpoint exactly what it is this person has kidney failure in both kidneys renal a end stage re renal kidney we got healing in reverse could be aquarius or i'm sorry restoration is in reverse but um, Aquarius is that star energy and it's also known for healing as well too, but that's in reverse. There's no restoration. Yeah, big changes are coming. Big changes are coming that they cannot tolerate. That's justice. That is justice. It cannot be resurrected. It cannot be resurrected. Damn. Grace is in reverse. Spirit is not giving any grace. I can't. Even though it says I can, but is in reverse. I can't is in reverse. And that's also foods too. I'm going to put it upright so you can see the card better. That's also a lot of fruits, super foods. And they both were in reverse. <laughs> Celebration is in reverse. Somebody need to prepare for a funeral. try to offer you up. <laughs> they try to offer you up in sickness. And try to hide that. I'm telling you, this is the second time karma came out. This is someone's karma. And they're in silence. They're going to find out though. They're going to be fucking shocked. This is the second time another form of transition, transcend has come out. They'll be gone by Christmas. New Year's? No later than February. No later than no later than Valentine's Day. But that's like pushing it. That's really pushing it. But this person's going to de deteriorate so fast. So fast. Yeah, they're going to deteriorate so fast. And it's going to cause a balance for you and for them. You were at the bottom. Now you're at the top. They were at the top. Now they're at the bottom. But they they lied, they steal, and they hurt people to get to the top. <clears throat> and this is going to be a very painful ending for them. Someone has erectile dysfunction. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Confirmation. Like what I see, <laughs> what I see is a doctor's office. I see GP, general practitioner. I see the office. I see the doctor call. I see a, a masculine sitting on a, you know, the, the seat thing in the hospital setting. And the doctor's coming close to the patient and pulling up a chair and saying, hey, we have bad news. They're not even doing it over the phone. You have to come in. This, this is how they do their setup. And this person is sitting down and they're telling the bad news. And the masculine who's receiving the bad news is in fucking shock. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to process it. They are just in a array of emotions. And you can just, I can see the doctor still talking. But to them, the karmic, it sounds warble. Like, rrr, 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 rrr. like, it's not making sense. They're not able to digest or comprehend the information that was just given to them. And they're in total regret. 
because they know why they have it. They know why they're going through this. Mm -hmm. They know why. They, they're not going to accept it. It's like, if you ever saw Why Did I Get Married and Why Did I Get Married too? It's, it's a movie by Tyler Perry. And um, Sheila, and I think his name was Mike. Yeah, Sheila and Mike, I want to say. But anywho, Sheila was loving, caring, nurturing, all those great qualities, right? And her husband at the time just did not give a fuck about her was sleeping with I think her friend at the time right in front of her face underneath her nose and stuff like that like really berating her talk about her weight you you don't need to wear that you too big for that like all this dumb shit right and she finally decided to move forward like she tearfully she moved forward and she met uh the I think the chief of police or something like that up in the, the lodge that they were um attending over the weekend or something and you know with time of course she started to lose weight and started to look good about herself and in the next sequel why did i get married to he came back and he had cancer and he was trying everything oh i'm sorry i'm missing that he had cancer and that was from the shit that he did to her <laughs> and he felt so bad for how he treated her and she was like you know <laughs> she still have a heart she still had a heart, but she was like, you know, she just, man, it's crazy. This is crazy. Uh, they wanted to treat you like shit. Now they feeling like shit and they looking like shit. They are the shit that they created. Now I need your help. I don't get it. Why would you need help from somebody that ain't shit? You said the collective ain't shit, Carmen. Why you need help from the collective? Why the fuck would you accept help from somebody that you said ain't shit, ain't worth nothing? How that makes sense? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what they fear the most. I don't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> and no empathy. They, you have no empathy for this person. And a lot of grief. They envy your good health, your great health. Now, collective, if you were in bad health, you're going to get better. You're going to get better. You are. Mm. Your health is going to become A1. So if you were suffering from different types of background ailments and things of that nature... You're going to have a full, complete turnaround. And as you gain or regain your health, your optimum health, they're going to be declining. They don't want to feel lonely. They don't want to feel lonely. But they need help. Even the fucking universe won't help you. So why I don't understand the universe said no. <laughs> no, we're not helping you. Nah, we ain't got nothing for you. Okay. Then they pray. They pray five to seven times a day asking for some form of forgiveness. Please forgive me. I'll never do it again. I'm I'm so regretfully sorry. You're not sorry. You're not sorry. They're only sorry when things start to happen to them. Again, the etymology of the word sorry is distressed. They're only in distress because things are falling apart in their life. That's the only reason why they're sorry. That's the only reason. Because if they were not sick, they would have still been doing what they're doing out there. <laughs> so they're not sorry. <laughs> a lot of grief behind this shit that they refuse to work on their shadow work they don't even know how to be by themselves being by themselves is too fucking trippy being by themselves is too is too scary to sit in solitude with self is scary for them i love this i just realized that you see that inner light the the, the light look look at the oh the contrast of that that is so dope i love that <laughs> Um, 
they can't even sit with self enough to be in solitude without being too antsy and oh my god da, 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 and stuff like that they do no shadow work they don't even know what fucking shadow work is because all they do is be in the motherfucking shadow that's all they be in is in the motherfucking shadow they don't know nothing about nothing child I really like this contrast between light and dark I truly do <laughs> spirit you be knowing what you be doing boo you, you know what you be doing spirit <laughs> we got frustration they frustrated because they're not comfortable they're sick reflection and what is being shown in the mirror is them like growth is in reverse love is in reverse <sighs> they have anxiety up the wall Like, this person is being forced to sit down. <laughs> Health-wise at all, and they can't, they don't, they don't know how to. They're going to be forced. Forced. Forced to sit down. That's, that's, that's the best way I can. sorry they just look like the walking dead i'm sorry like a walking corpse i just see someone real skinny no literally no like just skin and fucking bones bro like that's 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 the, that's the image i'm seeing and then i see the grim reaper i do i see some other heavy hitters behind I see anubis as well and they're walking with this person not in no um positive way like protecting no no, they're not. They're not walking with this person for, oh, we're going to protect you. No, 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 and no. Mm -mm. They walking like, your time's up. All right, let's go. Anubis is a part of the underworld. The Grim Reaper, too. But Anubis came to collect. They have sores all over their body. They smell. They're not being turned. This is future, what I'm seeing. Like this person, once they hit, once they get in the hospital, that's it. They're not coming out. And I just see lots of neglect happening within the hospital setting in regards to their care. Like, it's, when I said, man, y'all be thinking spirit be, spirit has a funny way of being real fucking petty when they ready. Everything works through energy. Always remember that. So if you need to receive a message or get a message or whatever the case may be, Spirit is always going to use the person closest to you or use something that is closest to you that's going to grab your attention. So you're like, oh, shoot. All right, let me pay attention. That kind of way. And this person has caused so much hate from when they were a child to this elder, older age here that this, this, is, this is justified. Hmm? This is justified for sure. Mm-hmm. Now, this may trigger some, and I'm not trying to, but I have to give the message, okay? Um, like I said, they're going to be, when they get into this hospital setting, they're not going to be able to come out. They're going to come out and zipped up. And they're going to take their ass, shit their ass to the morgue. I see bed sores all over this person's body, all over their face, their mouth. Like, they don't, they don't look good. And they smell, I just keep smelling like this decaying smell of like rotting flesh. That's all I keep smelling. And that smells so putrid. So putrid. One thing you <laughs> one thing, the, 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 the smell of death, God, that is something that will always stick with me. I don't like that smell. I, it, it, it's so, oh, it's so nasty. It's so... It smells so vile, so evil. If that's the best way to explain it, like it's it it, it 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 it's so offensive. It's just, oh, just, oh, it don't smell right. It just. I was living when I was living back in Philly. There was an older guy that was so mean. Oh my God, he was so mean to people, mean to the kids. I like will walk by, um. 
He would spray his water holes. Like, he was just so fucking mean-spirited. He ended up dying in his house. They didn't know he was dead for like three weeks. And the whole block, the block was smelling so fucking stink. So stink. Like when we came from school, when we left for schools, we literally held our nose and ran off the block. That's how stink it smelled. Oh my God. And then when we came back from school, we held our nose as well. I mean, it was so powerful. That's that smell was so nasty because they had to open up the windows and everything to air that shit out. You can smell that shit like a couple blocks away. It was so oppressive. Oh, God. Ugh. Yeah. It was so oppressive. Like, when they opened the door, everybody just ran back. It was so much flies and stuff. It, it, ugh, ugh. This is where this person is going. Like, ugh, ugh. We have devotion. Somebody could be listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire. The sheep and Blackberry, they think that you're going to devote to them. I'm telling you. Starting over, they want to start over with you, but loyalty is in reverse. They don't have no loyalty to you. They only have loyalty to what you can do for them. And they know that you can help heal them and get them out of this situation. And I'm going to tell you this very frank, collective. Now, I know some of us, or most of us, have big hearts, including myself. But do not attempt to help someone that has sabotaged you for years. Yeah, that sounds harsh, but hey, that's just the way fucking life rules. Sometimes you got to match energy. And in this instance here, I say this is very justified. It is what the fuck it is. And this person needs some help to help being um, aided or help back to nurse back to health. And as soon as they are nursed back to health, yeah, luck. I'm telling you, luck. You are lucky or they look at you as luck. And they want to come in. They want to come in here and they want to press their luck. And they want to see that if they can, if, if they can get you to help them get out of this. Not only will... You be taking on their karma. Things are going to start to fall apart in your life. Let them go through their karma by themselves. Determination is they are so certain that you won't help them. They are so certain. They are so certain. Oh, yeah, they're going to help me. <sighs> Unseen potential, hesitation, inspiration, gratitude. Those both were in reverse. Like, they have no hesitation that you're going to help them. Like, they just know you are. <laughs> they just know you are. Self-expression. All these cards in reverse. Strength. So they're waiting for the right opportunity or the right time to come towards you to explain a situation here. Oh, I'm sick and I need help and I'm this. We'll get you a nurse. Hire a nurse. There's other ways that you can help yourself. Why does the collective have to aid you in your part of your journey to healing you? No, no, uh-uh. Y'all saw karma came out twice. This is this person's karma. Do not step in anybody's karma. Do not intervene in anyone's karma. Let them go through what they got to go through, boo. Because if you like, oh, well, yeah, well, I don't want them to be sick. Well, okay. You, you tell me how that worked out for you, big fella. You tell me how that worked out for you. Okay? I'm not taking on nobody's karma. I'm not helping nobody get out their karma. None of that shit. You put yourself there, you're going to be stuck there. Stuck like Chuck, like a motherfucker. I say stuck like Chuck, like a motherfucker. Okay. There is no future. 
Like they really did this to themselves. Yeah, trickery. They had a lot of trickery involved with you. A lot. And spirit is coming and just yanked them from this fucking realm. Sayonara, boo. Mm. Spider, they're stuck. They're stuck in their ailments. Fuck them. I mean, sick. Sick. Eyes out protruding like sick, sick, sick. Like, it's like a sick, like. Like to where you don't want to be nowhere around them because of their physical appearance. It's it's very, it's not a sight to see. It's not a sight to see. And you'll be like, wow, like, wow. I, 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 that's, just, just, that's just the best way I can explain it. I, I don't, all right, I heard go back to my petty day. That's just the best way to explain it here, but. Yeah, this person bullied you, they cheated you, they bullied you, they cheated you, or they cheated on you, take it how it resonates. It could be a father figure, it could be a brother, an uncle, an ex-friend, uh, whatever, however, this is a masculine, a liar, they lied. Yeah, you had a lot of childhood trauma with this person, or this person attributed to you having a lot of childhood trauma yeah Some crazy shit eviction this could be a family member We have joy in reverse. Someone's name could be joy. They're broke. They're losing their mind. They could be going through a form of psychosis. They're abusive, very abusive. They were abusive towards you. They're abusive towards others, and they thought that it was fine. They thought it was fine. Suffering in silence, it's not a divine masculine. No, they're suffering in silence. They're stuck. They're really stuck. They're, huh, huh? Full blown narcissist, hood right? Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. Family members slept with somebody. Some. What? What the? F they got hiding something. And STD. Hmm. Family member could have slept with a significant other of yours. Yep, sex magic. And they end up getting the STD. God damn, fake empress. So someone has a fake empress here. Uh, he slept with what? Oh, I'm the deep deep, but I'm a boom. Just <laughs> Let them niggas go through their karma, please and thanks. Please and thanks. They had sex with your sibling. So y'all gonna have to take this story how it resonates, okay? So it could be, like I said, it could be an ex-boyfriend, an ex-husband. It could be a mother, uh, not a mother. It could be a father, an uncle, a masculine. But siblings are involved here and we have hood hiding something and STD with friends with benefit. Somebody slept with a sibling of yours. And that's what they're hiding. They're hiding that they, in fact, that they got some kind of a STD from them. Let them go through their karma. <laughs> it could be a Leo. Strength is in reverse. Let them bitches go through their karma, boo. 
I'm gonna go through their karma. Mm -hmm. They are sick, nine of wands. They sick. They sick. And they asking why? Why am I sick? Why am I sick? Why can I not work? And then looking up to the stars for guidance. Yeah, he is looking up the stars. Is <laughs> either a family member that is sick. Okay, you can consider like at the time, just just perspective wise. Like at the time, a ex -hus a husband or a boyfriend will may have been family or part of the family. Just take it how it resonates, okay? But family is included in this, yes. So this is coming off that someone slept with a family member here. Try to keep it under wraps. It'd be good if you see the card. <laughs> Try to keep that under wraps, and all that's just coming out. Go back to the family member that you fucked on and you sucked on and all that bullshit and ask them for fucking hell. Why in the fuck are you coming towards the collective? I don't get that. Why are you coming towards the collective after you try to hurt and tarnish the collective in so many different ways? Why won't you leave the motherfucking collective alone? Go back to that dusty family that you fucked on and ride off to the motherfucking sunset. Let that bitch change your, your diaper. Let that bitch change your medication. Let them change your sheets on your bed. Let them help you. Why are you trying to include the collective in your, in your bullshit, your debauchery? Why? In your confusion with an R. I said it with an R, not confusion. Confusion with an R. Now you sick, you want help from the collective. No. Go back to the person you were fucking on. Let them help you. Where they at? Since y'all like keeping secrets, right? Well, let them help you in secret. Let them nurse your stank ass back to health in secret. Why the fuck you coming towards the collective? Against, they were against you. They ran and they were against you. Child police, they slept with a family member of yours. Like, what? Let, come on, we got run and ran, bro. Stop playing with me. <laughs> run and ran. And then they quickly, they quickly did it. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all gotta learn to let people go through their bullshit by themselves. <laughs> That they did not want you to see. They didn't want you to know that they slept with a family member, but it's the fucking end. Like, go back to them. I'm telling you, it's a man. <laughs> or a Dusty, you know, because that's not a real man. But you get my drift. a lot of nasty niggas out here and I say niggas because that's what they are a lot of nasty degenerates out here thinking that they can have their cake and eat it too and just think that you're supposed to just bow down to them I'm so happy that this patriarchal um build or patriarchal society is just is being destroyed is being crumbled and I'm so grateful for that because it's just a lot of misogyny, a lot of misandry, a lot of bullshit that's just going on out here. And I'm just I'm just glad that it's now being shown for everybody to see, you know. And these same these same dusties here are gonna grow old and sick and by themselves. Like nobody wants to deal with this shit. Nobody wants to deal with this. And a lot of people are really pulling away. Nobody wants to deal with this shit. You wanna treat somebody like shit, but you're coming back in the same breath and the same sudden to ask for help? But the person that you try to sabotage? Come on, man. Like... Oh, have a heart. I do have a heart for me and for others, not for them dusties. I'm not going to have a heart for somebody that don't give a fuck about me. That don't make sense. I'm not going to spread myself thin for somebody that won't even meet me fucking halfway. That don't make sense. I'm not going to give up all my time and my effort and my energy to someone that don't give a fuck or not even one-eighth of a fuck about me. I'm not doing that. 
Call me mean, call me ignorant, call me a bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Learn to treat people right the first time. Because if you would have treated the collective right the first time, I'm pretty sure, I can say this probably, I'm pretty sure they would have helped you. If you would have treated them correctly the first time. So you're trying to drag the collective into your ailment, into your bullshit, into your, your hospice-like energy? Nah, nigga, you gotta lay down and eat that crow, bitch. <laughs> you gotta lay down and eat that boo. <laughs> I'm not helping nobody that try to fuck me over. <laughs> just... Thank you, spirit. I'm just not. I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't got it. No. No, I no, nerp, no, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> Who you come? No, I, I can say no in so many different ways. Nah, that ain't it, chief. Nope. Can't help you. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nerp. Mm-mm. Nope is universal. So is yes. So is love. So many different ways to express the nose. You know what I mean? Can you help me? Who? Help who, where, why, who, who, where, why, when, for why. Child, please. They down. They down and out. You're going to see a lot of these dusties out here. And I'm only going about what the cards say, okay? So you're going to see a lot of these dusties here that have been taking advantage of others. And you're just going to see them just sick and just, just ran down, ran through and ran down. They drinking, which is not making matters worse. Their health is fucked. It's shot. And it's coming to the point where doctors, or has came to a point where doctors said there's nothing that they can do for you. Like textbook, like there's nothing else we can do for you. They don't even look like themselves. Identity is in reverse. They don't look like themselves. <clears throat> And they know this agreement. They can't focus because of it. They know what's up. Come on, man. Get like, out of here. Weird shit. I just keep hearing, help me, help me, please. <laughs> help me, help me, please. Help me. <laughs> Duh. We got vitality and fertility. Vitality and fertility in reverse. <laughs> could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. Or you could be a Taurus or a Leo. <laughs> what a way to leave this earth, child. What a way. But protection is in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries. And nine, I'm just going to put it upright so you can see. Nine is the completion, the end. <sighs> it's sad because they have no memory as to, or they're trying not to have a memory as to how they treated you in the past. They want you to forgive all that. Like, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's the past. That's the past. Oh, okay. Well, keep that same energy with your health. That's the <laughs> You know what I mean? If you could tell me, you could come to me after you try to do many things towards me or the collective, I'll say it like that. And now that you're having issues, you want me to forget and, and just bypass all the shit that you've done to me in a very negative way? No, I'm not. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. You're on your own body. You on your shit. You're on your. You what? <laughs> Had a slip up. <laughs> Somebody had a slip, a slip up, a Freudian slip. I was gonna say, You on your own, big fella. You on your own, big chief. You were the big chief, right? You the big fella. You the big honcho, right? Well, if you are all those things that you said that you are, you could be able to get yourself together. You don't need no help from the collective. You the big bad wolf, ain't ya? You the big bad bitch, ain't ya? You the big bad nigga, ain't you? 
Well, if you carry all them qualities in your desolate, dusty ass in that body of yours, that the degenerative body of yours, you could be able, you should be able to withstand this. You should be able to heal yourself. You don't need no collective self. You don't need no advice from the collective. You don't need to talk to the collective. You need to leave the collective alone. You got more important things to worry about, big dog. Hmm. Big dog. You can hurt people and maliciously lie to people. You can get yourself together. You can heal yourself. What you need to collect the for? <laughs> they learned in the hard way. <laughs> oh, they learned the hard way. They learned the hard way. <laughs> Breakups and makeups. They learned the hard way. Breakups and makeups. They, they expect after you guys broken up. And again, it don't have to be. You just want to take a high resonance because it's a collective read. Okay. So every part is not going to resonate. But for the ones that resonate with this part here, the breakup and makeup, you guys broke up, separated, went your separate ways. And they expect for you to make up with them because they're sick. Uh, Negative. I don't give a fuck that you sick. The fuck that got to do with me. Oh, you don't care that I sit? That is a big ass negative. I don't give a fuck. Two or three. I don't give a fuck that you sit. The fuck that got to do with me? Again, what the fuck does that have to do with the collective that you sit? I don't understand it. Take that up with the universe. What you tried to do and you failed. Because karma came out twice. Not once, but twice. Transition came out not once, but twice. You on your own there, big chief. They confused. What? <laughs> And they want you to be in that confusion. No, don't put yourself in that. Mm -mm, no, it's a negative. No, they can call you whatever they want. They can't call you sick. <laughs> Healing is in reverse. How many times healing gonna come out in reverse here? The, 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 the dots is not connected. Well, why not? Why the dots connected? If you can go out here and you can cause hurt and pain to people, you should be able to connect the dots to heal your bitch ass self. You should be able to. You got it, right? You can put your hands on people, right? You can curse and you can yell and you can berate people, right? You can get people fired from the jobs and, and evicted from their homes unintentionally. Like all this shit, you can do this, right? I, I'm not understanding why you keep coming towards the collective for some kind of a save, a saver. Or, don't be no saver to nobody. Don't have no damn uh, complex uh, a savior's complex for any fucking body. They put themselves in that situation because of the hate that they have. Redacted. Now they're trying to redact. They're trying to re redact their information or the statement that they made about you. I didn't mean it. Yes, the fuck they did. If you spoke it, you meant it. If you spoke it, you meant it. Again, if you spoke it, you meant it. Because there's a lot of things that I want to say. And I just be like, you know what? Let me hush my mouth. Because I know my mouth be like. Phew. It like pepper and hot. Mm, it's a spicy hot when I'm ready. But sometimes I have to control myself with my mouth. Because my words do hurt. It hit hard. <laughs> Shit. Take that up with the divine. <laughs> so in some cases, I have to be careful what I say. Because I'm like, oh, mother. Oh, okay, all right, let me chill real quick. Yeah. I'm trying to redact what they said to you and about you behind your back. They didn't want you to know that they were sleeping with your family members. They don't want you to know that. But they do want you to know that they sit and they do want you to know that they need your help. I don't know what the fuck for. So you only giving us half information? Why you can't uh, divulge all of the information? Tell us everything that you did behind the scenes. We already know, you know what I mean? But giving them a chance to say, if y'all even pick up the phone, which I highly doubt that y'all not even going to do. Y'all not going to say that. 
I ain't gonna take that foolery. <laughs> Y'all not going to say that bullshit. Help me, help me, please. Uh, negative. <laughs> T came out. Time's up, boo. <laughs> Time's up. And put the right information on that motherfucking tombstone. Yeah, I said it. Put the right information on that motherfucking tombstone. Here lies a, a, a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, a manipulator, a narcissist. You need to add that right bullshit, inscribe the right information, the right words, the right verbiage on this nasty nigga's tombstone. I said it. Think you gonna leave this earth on a peaceful way? No fucking way. Mm -mm. Karma came out twice. Not once, but twice. And it's the first day of Sagittarius season. What up, Sagittarius? They dig the hole that they can't get themselves out of. <laughs> well, Anubis helping you, ushering you to the underworld. <laughs> you called upon him, didn't you? you wait man wait they're losing weight height weight they're losing height and weight that's crazy somebody name could be Whitney they have a lot of legions all over their body L E G I O N L E this is a blank they have many different legions all over their body I don't have all the letters, but L-E-G-I-O-N, legions. They want you to be a light to them, L-I-G-H-T, which I do have, L-I-G-H-T. You could be visiting Maine, the lighthouse, okay? They see that you are the light, so you can help them. I'm hearing guiding lights. You could, be, could have watched that as a child <laughs> or, you know, growing up. I'm hearing meal ticket. They looked at you as a meal ticket as well. They just wanted to use you in, in, in just all different aspects. And no, it's just not working. It's just not. We have Tim. Someone's name could be Tim. Timmy, Timothy. There's a glitch. G-L-I-T-C-H. G-L-I-T-C-H. There's a glitch in their life. Somebody works with glyphs, G-L-Y-P-T-H. If you know, you know. Um, yeah, M-A-G-I-C, magic. Yeah, they worked with different types of energies here. And the energy's like, you rang? Oh, okay, well, let me see what you got. Oh, that's all you got? Come with me real quick. Yeah, they, they on their way to the lower room, not the upper room. The lower room. They going to hell in the motherfucking handbasket. They're withering. W-I-T-H-E. They're withering away. Withering, W-I-T-H-E-R-I-N-G. Somebody's going to whiting their teeth. Or you want to whiten your teeth. Someone's favorite color is white. This could be a white person. Someone name is Alan. I'm hearing Van Halen. I, I think that was an actual rock group, if I'm not mistaken. Or, yeah, I think that was a rock, soft rock group, if I'm not mistaken. Van Halen. 
That's what I'm hearing. Someone's name could be Helen. I'm hearing the Waldorf. Someone loves to drink ale, ginger ale. I'm hearing Sigmoid and Freed. Sig Sigmund, and Sigmund and Freud, I'm sorry. Sigmund and Freud. So psychology. Someone is definitely on a down low. Okay. Someone's listening to LTD. Holding on. And that's no lie. Holding on. Hey, hey, hey. That kind of way. I bet you. Um. They took life for granted. LSW, somebody has a, a licensed social work. So somebody's a social worker that's watching. What up, social worker? CPS. Ha, ha, ha. Who are you kidding? That's what I'm hearing. We have illegal. Shit. Is it two L's or one? Somebody's very ill, number one. Somebody could listen to LL Cool J. We have illegal. I, I have all the letters, but I can't fit them, so. Okay, illegal. <laughs> Allegiance, somebody's from Alabama. Your name could be Al, Allen, I think I've mentioned that. You may have a dog or a puppy. Something's wrong with the tail of the puppy. We have wag. So I think their, their tail's not wagging. So you may have to get this puppy or dog or um, you may have to get them checked out. <clears throat> so my name is Helga. You could be watching Hey Arnold. <laughs> um, somebody's working with a thimble. T-H-I-M-B-L-E thimble. I'm hearing Darth Vader. I'm hearing Garth Brooks. Someone's name is Ming, M-I-N-G. Someone's name is Ling, L-I-N-G. I'm also seeing mingling. LED lights. So um, you may have to change the bulb in your LED light or it may blow out or conk out. Somebody loves dill pickles. Somebody's name could be Dill or Dylan. Somebody's getting a new washer and dryer. Somebody's going down for lewd acts. Somebody will be in jail for lewd acts. So, like having sex at a park or some, some shit. Whatever. Um, somebody's going to get caught having sex even in a car or a gym. So even a car, a gym, or a park, or all of the three. But somebody's going to get caught for having sex in a public place. We have Hills. Somebody, so your name could be Hill. You could be listening to Tamia. Tamia is, is married to Grant Hill, the basketball player. Your name could be Hill. Your, your name could be Llewellyn. Someone may have multiple sclerosis. You could be from Mississippi. Someone is going through PMS or, you know, your period symptoms. All right. Someone name is Helga. So it's Helga, H-E-L-G-A. Then I'm hearing Helga, H-A-L-G-A. Okay. Somebody's from Greece. Someone's from Indiana. Someone's from Hawaii. Someone's from Washington, D.C. Wellington. I think that's in England. Yes. Dang, it's a lot of words. Yeah, I have the I have all the letters, but it's just too much to hold up. But Wellington, and I want to say that's in England. I'm here in Hildago. H-I-L-D-A-G-O. Hildago. I have that too. H I L. Yeah, I have that too. D A G O. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing goddamn. Someone could be tilling. T I L L I N G. Could be tilling your crops or winter crops. 
I'm here in Hanneman Hospital. I'm here in Delta. So you could be a Delta, like a part of the sorority or so, or it could be Delta Airlines. Somebody has a huge laceration across their chest. Somebody has a buildup of wax in your ear. You may have to go see a, a whether it be ear throat and ear, ear eye and throat doctor, which is a, I think it's called entrologist or something like that. Let me see. Air throat and nose doctor. I'm sorry. It's called a otolerant. I don't know how to pronounce that. A e N T. <laughs> Air throat and eye doctor. So you may have to go and get like your ears. Um like cleaned out or so, or some, I don't know. I've, I've never experienced that, but that's just what I saw. So you may need some uh, further um, further assistance from a doctor. Could be an actual doctor, a homeopathic doctor, or you may take it upon yourself and do what you need to do. But I just see like some kind of assistance is needed to kind of get the, the excess wax build up in the air, okay? All right, so... All right, so we have Uranus in Sag in the seventh house. Shit being shaken up. We got seventh house again in Libra and Venus. Sixth house, Pisces. Moon. Gemini, you could be, they could be, Aries, you could be, they could be, Capricorn, you could be, they could be, Taurus, you could be, they could be, Leo, you could be, they could be, Gemini, Virgo, do two more, Scorpio, Cancer, all right? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell. Till next time.